With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. Let's understand the given question. A reset bar of mass capital M is supported symmetrically by three wires, each of length L. Those at each end are of copper, and the middle one is of iron. The ratio of their diameters, if each is to have the same tension, is equal to. So, uh, in the question, this is given that one of the rigid bar of mass capital M is supported symmetrically by three wires. Each is having length L and the middle wire is iron, made of iron and the end of the wires are made of copper. So, we have to calculate the ratio of their diameters if each is has have to have the same tension will be equal to. So, we have four options. Option A, uh, Y copper upon Y iron B, root of Y copper upon Y iron C, y, square, uh, y iron square upon Y copper square D y iron upon y copper so we have to tell that which of the following option is correct now we can start from the given so suppose we have a uh, we have a supported beam like this we have a supported beam like this and three uh, wires are connected so first one first one we have or we can see in the end we have copper wire these are connected like this these are copper wire this this is made of copper wire and middle wire is made of iron and they are connected symmetrically to the uh, to a rigid bar of the mass capital m so we have to connect it like this so this is rigid bar having mass capital m so uh, these three uh, wires are connected to this rigid bar so this is given that this is symmetrically connected means that these or or extension in all these wires will be equal and this is given that uh, tension in this uh, tension in these wires are equal so we have to calculate the uh, ratio of the diameters so suppose the diameter of the this copper wire is dc and diameter of the iron wire is di this is for iron so we have to calculate ratio of ratio of their diameters copper to copper to iron ratio we have to calculate now we know that according to Hooke's law Hooke's law says that stress is directly proportional to strain so from there we can say stress is equal to y that is Young's modulus of that material into strain so within the question this is given that uh, this uh, this uh, rigid bar is supported symmetrically means del L means ki extension within the all these wires are equal and length was already that capital L so capital L plus del L this will also constant or we can say total extended extended wire length so this is constant or we can say del L upon L is constant for every wire for each wire and force applied force is also constant for each wire because we have given that tension is constant so force applied is equal to tension here because this rigid bar is connected due to this mass mg this uh, tension will be here in the copper and iron wire so tension is constant or we can say force applied on these wires is constant now we can write here that uh, f by a that is stress f by a 
any particular wire we are talking about any particular wire so f by a is equal to young's modulus into del l upon l so this is formula but uh, we have to calculate for copper and uh, copper wire and iron so what we have to do we have to calculate first for the copper so f l now what we have to do we have to divide both this equation equation 1 and equation 2 so what we have f f uh, f by ac divided by f by ai so we can write here ai upon ac will be equal to yc upon yi and these are cancel out to each other because these values are constant for both of them so we can write here pi pi d i square upon 4 upon 4 uh, similarly pi d c square upon 4 so this 4 pi 4 pi cancel out and we have y c upon y i again we have to simplify so then what we have d i upon d c will be equal to y c upon y i root of this we have to calculate that dc upon dc upon di so we can write here that this is reciprocal so dc upon di is equal to we can uh, we have to take a reciprocal of this yi upon yc now we have to check the options so option a y copper upon y iron this is incorrect y copper upon y iron this is correct so we can say that according to option option b root of y copper upon y iron is correct answer for this question i hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today